In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is risen. Truly, he is risen. Today's scripture reading is from the Gospel according to St. John, chapter 8, verses 1 through to 11. But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Now early in the morning he came again into the temple. And all the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and the Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery. When they had set her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. Now Moses, in the law, commanded us that such should be stoned. But what do you say? This they said, testing him, that they might have something of which to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger, as though he did not hear. So when they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one beginning with the oldest, even to the last. And Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had raised himself up, and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one condemned you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. In the scripture reading today, there is a little subheading. Jesus restores the adulterous woman. If you remember in other parts of scripture, Jesus did not come to destroy us, but to save us, save us from our sins. Out of all the people there then, on that occasion, Jesus had the right to stone the woman. But he didn't. As I said, Jesus did not come to condemn us, to kill us, but to save us. And this is what he has done to this woman. All the scribes and Pharisees wanting to do it, to get something on Jesus, as people were picking up stones ready to throw them. Jesus said to them, He who is without sin, let him cast that first stone. Of course, thinking about it, they all realized they were all sinners, not just this woman. So they dropped the stones walked away. Then when, of course, when Jesus sort of looked up again and there was no one around, he asked the woman, where are your accusers? They're all gone. And Jesus then said to her that he too 
would not condemn her. Go and sin no more. This is what he is saying to all of us. We are all sinners. We all fall short. How many of us turn our backs? How many of us turn our backs to Jesus? How many of us carry out that commandment that we spoke about yesterday to love? right do we love people the same way that Jesus loves us can we really say we do so we fall short of the commandment that Jesus gave us we all sin in falling short not fulfilling that commandment to love. But we are still not condemned by Jesus. And as he said to the woman, Go and sin no more. Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. God is giving us another chance. Are you prepared to take that chance and sin no more? Or are you going to just give up? What's the use? What's the point? The world around us keeps dragging us down. So that's what Satan wants. He wants us to give up and not keep on trying every time we fall over and sin. No. Jesus loves us. He won't condemn us. But I'm not saying to give up. That you'll be right. No. We must keep on trying and not be stopped when we fall over. Keep going. Pick yourself up. Dust yourself down and keep following Jesus. Following his commandment to love as he loves us by this love all will know that we are followers of Jesus Christ Christ is risen truly he is risen glory to God for all things may the blessing of Almighty God the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.